Beef code renewing the essence of the Abrahamic faiths before it, Islam. Islam spread rapidly in all directions. To date, the spread of empires was associated with pillage, plunder and destruction. In the wars between Rome and Persia, Rome and Carthage, and Egypt and Persia, there are famous examples of entire villages being razed to the ground and people persecuted. Islam's spread was different. It spread in various directions with the defeat of the Egyptians, the Persians and expansion into modern-day India and Spain. None of these expansions were marked by any of the same brutality. To the contrary, the Muslims' capture of Jerusalem without a single drop of blood in the year 637 exemplifies the way in which lands were ceded to Islam through conquests of a different kind. Within years of Islamic law being applied to many of these lands, tens of thousands converted to Islam upon seeing its mercy and its justice. Europe, meanwhile, experienced the rise of the Franks and the emergence of a new Western Roman Empire. Originally a nomadic people from modern-day Germany, the Franks would eventually be led by the great Emperor Charlemagne. Out of this was born a new civilization, which would be called the Holy Roman Empire, and would exist in some way or form until the time of Napoleon in 1800. This new empire covered much of modern-day Europe. In the year 1054, the Eastern Orthodox Christian Church formally split from the Western Catholic Church. A few years later, the Western Roman Empire came to the aid of the Eastern Byzantine Empire as the two combined to launch the Crusades, a 200-year struggle between Christian and Muslim civilization. The Muslims emerged victorious, but simultaneously had to confront an empire of a different kind, the rampaging Mongols. The early war policy of mass killing, rape and barbarism led to devastation for many cities, but eventually three out of the four Mongol principalities, or Khanates, embraced Islam. The Mongols left their legacy on world trade and enterprise through the Silk Route and also established an elaborate postal system. They faced the valiant defense put up by the Muslims, urged by great scholars such as Imam Ibn Abd salam and Sheikh Ibn Taymiyyah. May Allah have mercy upon them both. They were also eventually stopped, despite their initial successes, by another grand civilization, the Imperial Russian Empire. Initially a series of provinces that were devastated and dominated by the Mongols, it evolved into the Grand Duchy of Moscow, covering 5 million square kilometers by the year 1584 through conquest and war against surrounding provinces and medieval European states. As the centuries went on, the Russian Empire was ruled by the Romanov family, with a king called the Tsar and would eventually fight the Ottoman Islamic State in the Crimean War. Islam, in the meantime, had continued to spread, and one of its great moments came in 1453, when the Muslims finally captured Constantinople, which became Istanbul. The Ottoman state would be responsible for the promotion of many sciences and encourage religious tolerance. 
the conqueror Sultan Muhammad al-Fatih resettled Muslims, Jews and Christians from other regions of Anatolia to create a diverse society governed by Islam. As the years progressed, however, the Muslims declined. After failing to capture Vienna and Malta, despite repeated attempts, they were eventually confronted by a resurgent Europe. In 1687, the Austrians defeated the Ottomans at the Battle of Mohacs. Faced by the growing might of Russia and with progress having stagnated, the Muslims watched as Europe underwent a renaissance that saw science, art and culture flourish. The British, French, Portuguese and the Dutch developed into colonial nations. The intellectual enlightenment gave rise to the initial phases of what was to become the capitalist civilization. In 1642, the king and parliament went to war in Britain and eventually politicians wrestled power away from the king who was thought to be God's representative on earth. As Britain evolved into an increasingly powerful nation with worldwide colonies, the same enlightenment created revolutions in France in 1789 which saw the rise of Napoleon and a conquest of Europe that few believed was possible, resulting in the defeat of Prussia, Austria and Germany. France's imperialistic ambitions were finally stopped by Russia and Napoleon's once so-called Grand Army was dealt its final blow at the Battle of Waterloo in 1815 by the British. In due course, these underlying tensions led to World War I. Britain, France and Russia allied against Germany the Ottoman Empire and several other countries. Germany suffered defeat and the blow dealt to the Islamic State was to be fatal. Secularism and nationalism had arrived and the once great civilization of Islam was broken by the Western powers into a series of useless states which would be the backwater of the world.